uh, the back of the Times, Martin, this morning, and in other newspapers, your chum at Arsenal, Arteta, wrong on VAR call. Now, of course, uh, this all hinges on um, the game on Saturday night at St James's Park when uh, Anthony Gordon's goal won the match for Newcastle, but post-match Arteta was livid uh, today. The Premier League's independent key match incident panel um, quite clearly is reported to have supported the decision to award Anthony Gordon's controversial winner against uh, Arsenal. Arteta, if you remember, was absolutely livid that the goal had been given. Yeah, we have to talk about the result because you have to talk about how the hell this goal um, stand up and it's incredible. I feel embarrassed, but I have to be the one now coming here to try to defend the club and please ask for help because it's an absolute disgrace that this goal is allowed. It's an absolute disgrace. Again, I feel embarrassed. I've been more than 20 years in this country, and this is nowhere near the level to describe this as the best league in the world. I am sorry. So uh, he was, uh, he felt sick. He was incredibly embarrassed. It was a disgrace, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Sorry, Mikel. Um, uh, the report from the Premier League's independent key match incident panel says the goal rightly stood. I'll get to more detail on that in a moment. We spoke to IFAB. IFAB, who are IFAB? They're football's decision makers, lawmakers, lawmakers. They make the rules. The IFAB chief executive, Lucas Brood, and he spoke about, without specifically identifying Arteta's outburst, he spoke about some of the hysterical reactions to VAR here in England. I think people need to be patient that sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it's more complicated than we think to make sure we get to the to the best decision. But it's difficult to, you know, to make everyone happy. And um, but we are confident that, uh, as I said, in the vast, vast majority of matches, VAR uh, is almost silent. You, you don't see them. Uh, they communicate uh, with the referees. They help them if we're needed. But sometimes things get complicated um and uh, we have to be we have to accept that have to accept it and look as we do accept it and you're doing a good job so the premier league's independent key match incident panel martin looked at that gordon situation looked at the goal and obviously cast an eye over arteta's outburst the report states the majority of the five strong independent panel four to one agreed that the goal should have stood they say there was no conclusive evidence to show that the whole of the ball was over the line, over the whole of the goal line. The majority agreed the out the on-field decision of no foul was correct. There was no foul involving Gabriel. And there was no evidence to show that the goal scorer, Gordon, was in an offside position. That all adds up to one thing, goal given. So what's your friend Arteta on about? Well, Jim, this is obviously subjective, even though it goes to VAR, and I don't agree with the panel. I would prefer, actually, if we're going to name names, I would prefer to look at three former top referees who've all looked at this incident very closely. Firstly, we look at Chris Foy. He said, for him, it was a foul. Dermot Gallagher, top referee, former referee, said it was a foul. Mark Clattenburg said it was a foul. So we can all aim at, uh, at evidence. I don't even know who the panel is made up of. Former players. You, you say, it's, I'm not sure it can be particularly independent, but I simply don't agree. As a centre-half in that situation, immediately I was watching, I was working with the guys at the BBC, we're doing Match of the Day, and everyone's shouting, goal, goal, goal. And I'm like, no, 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 it couldn't, that couldn't be a goal because it's got, it must have been a foul. Watched it back, two hands on his back, Gabriel. Now, people saying he's stooping, and, and then... So people covering that game, Jim, the Gary Nevilles and people create a narrative. They, they put it into people's minds that, oh, what's he stooping for? He's stooping because he's got two hands on him and he's stooping because he's off the ground. He's taking the body weight there mm. of, of Joe Linton. So for me, it's a foul all day long. I don't care what panel you put me in. It's a foul. I'm not changing my mind. That's fair enough. You're not wearing your Arsenal glasses. Not at all. One. Whatever team I was supporting, I'll tell you if that was a goal... If that was Spurs in a similar situation and that but, was a foul on Romero, I am shouting the same thing. So so do you echo what Arteta's saying? Are you bitter about it? Are you... I think the choice of wording, Jim, you, was, was quite strong. Maybe uh, he could have taken a bit of time out. You think it was too strong? 
possibly. Yeah. But but I'm not there in that situation. So you're feeling like you've been cheated. That's how you feel. You feel the world is against you. Yeah, he wouldn't, have, if he wouldn't have felt that it's a huge, on to win it 2-1. It's a huge but, game. It's like a huge of game. Of course, it's the Arsenal, incidentally, huge incidentally, Arsenal had 60% possession in that game. Everyone talking about one shot. To, Newcastle only had two yeah. shots themselves. Yeah. So the game could have gone either way, quite but, like but, the Man City-Arsenal game went either way. moments go for you and moments go against you. Because this same panel said, do you know something? Havertz should have been red carded. And he wasn't. So Arsenal got a break in that one. Well, again, I, do you I think don't, he should have been no, red I don't, I don't. I think he should have been if he did made contact. He didn't make contact. He comes in and it's the trailing leg that he catches. Mind if he you're catches, definitely looking at this through Arsenal glasses, are you not? I think Havertz was was very was really on the edge there, and I wouldn't advise him to make that kind of tackle. But I can see the common sense mm. in why he wasn't sent off. Mm. But Jim, when you look at that time and time again, were they really looking at the foul? This is where this is. These are the areas when. You heard your Mike Dean's having to go at Paul Merce and you don't know the rules or the rest. What we do know, actually, we do know when people are being fouled. We do know when people are trying to cheat. We do know when they're trying to take advantage of the rules. Yeah, but that's, the one, that's player, something we but can the offer. the former players in this panel looked at it and yeah, said, I, I, no, I, the whole sequence building up to that goal means it should have been a goal and it was a goal and the goal was given. So it was the right decision. I've just told you there are three of our former top referees and maybe that's the issue. Maybe that's the issue. The actual on the field but you're referee. You're always going on about former players should be more involved in the game. They are. They're on this bloody independent key it, match incident panel. Well, Premier League panel. Independent. The Premier League's independent are key they, match incident panel. I do not agree with their decisions, Jim. You, uh, the you, former players. What do you want me to change my mind? I, I believe in what I saw. Would you? Be it's saying, a foul. Would, and if mind. I was in that panel, I would have brought it to their attention to explain why the player cannot get off the ground. I did it today with our producer. Do you, do you Luke, not, I said to him, look, okay, I've got two hands on your back. Can you can you lift off the ground? No, you can't even leave the floor, Jim. Be honest with me here. I'm, I'm if, being honest now. If this has happened at the other end of the pitch, it's in James's park, and it was Arsenal's goal. If it's stroked off, I then accept and understand it. <sighs> I just had to, because at the end of the day, day Jim, I'm, I'm actually an advocate of fair play. I might not look like that when I was on the pitch, but it doesn't mean I can't sit here and actually say that, yeah? And but, I said, oh, oh yeah, this, this righteous, virtuous individual. I'm not authority? that. I'm saying you, that is a foul on a central defender. Why can't you accept authority and the decisions that they arrive at? Well, what is it about football and, and, and some of the people within it who say even know what, Jim, after it's been It's because shown, they're looking at it in the cold light of day almost. Sec they're getting a second chance to get this right. And when they get it wrong, it, it, it's a double hit. But they didn't get it wrong. In my opinion, they got it wrong. They didn't get it and wrong. And I'm not the, alone in that opinion, by you, the way. You might not be alone in it, but you're in the minority. No, I don't think so. I think you're just made... For, to, to suit your narrative, you, that's what you're throwing at me. To suit your narrative, is, you're saying... No, and look, I'd love to go... Maybe given. I should sit in on the panel. Do you know? Maybe, well, maybe you should. Oh, yeah. we got a number I don't think I'd be allowed anywhere near it. key match incident panel. Would they, be, would they be able to accommodate Martin Kieran? Could the five-man panel become a six-man panel? Yeah, let's do it. Well, Let's ask. Do it. Are you serious about that? I'd love to go along, but I, Jim, I wouldn't get that opportunity. Because I might bring some common sense to the table, and that's not going to happen, is it? Martin, they applied common sense. They looked no. at it. How could four of them agree and one disagree, but that's a majority decision that it was right why don't they, why don't they to talk, give Why don't they talk to the, the former goal. referees then? If we're not allowed, why don't, we, why don't we get former referees in the room? That same panel. <laughs> Yeah, what, I know might, we, there might be a couple got, in there, but get them all in there. What we, they are all in there. What, is, is Klassenberg in there? Is Dermot Gallagher in there? We have, a, we have former referees and former players on the Premier League's independent well, key match then? incident panel. Let's name them. Who, who are these individuals? They're not naming them. They, ah, they choose not okay. to name them, but they insist former refs it and former players are on it. But, but if you got, want to I add yourself to, to that list, why not jump in? I don't have to agree with them, Jim. I'm not going to... I simply don't agree with them. Okay. They missed something. It's Jim White and conspiracy theorist Martin Keon. And we're live on TalkSport. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.